flight test class here at Cal Poly and I would just like to talk for a few minutes about kind of the background and uh, what the class is about. And so probably the, the most interesting thing about the class is I think we're the only program in the country that is doing flight tests with an experimental airplane that we, the faculty and students at Cal Poly built. It was a pretty interesting uh, process, but it started in about 2002. And after a few years of uh, kind of starts and stops and halts, um, it kind of set for a couple years. And then about 2007, we made a real concentrated effort, and in six months, we knocked it out. The airplane we use in the flight test class, it's a Vans aircraft kit. It's called an RV-7A. It's a pretty fantastic airplane and it's very lightweight. It weighs about a thousand pounds and it has a very big engine. And that uh, loading allows for very great performance. And then it's very hand, it, it has great handling characteristics. And so it's kind of a little sports car of sport aviation airplanes. And uh, it's just a super airplane exactly for the purpose we're trying to get in this class, which is studying the performance and the characteristics of general aviation airplanes. So a big part of the class is about uh, airmanship and, and what I view airmanship is just common sense around airplanes. And so lots of students are very interested in airplanes but they haven't had a lot of experience in general aviation airplanes. So my take on probably a third or half of this class is just becoming familiar with the operating environment, the operating procedures and just what it's like to be around little airplanes. Uh, we start the class with a calibration of the pitot-static tube, the pitot-static system, and so it calibrates to make sure that what the system says we're flying, that's the actual airspeed we are flying. So that was the first task that we all went through together. And then the second kind of preset prescribed lab is determining what the uh, drag polar of the airplane is. And so that's kind of the prescripted part of the class. And after that gets accomplished, then I open it up and let the students propose their own extension learning project. This idea came from me just wanting to uh, get test equipment for my own RC aircraft. So for instance, I have like a little RC P-51 Mustang that I like to fly around. And I thought it'd be really cool to have a little system, at least something I could hold in my hand or attach to a computer where I could read airspeed data and maybe even more like accelerations on the aircraft. And so what was really cool about the extension learning project that Flight Test gave me is I was actually able to take that idea and make a project out of it and test the entire system on an actual aircraft, the RV-7 that we use in the class. And then in lecture we cover a little bit about what flight test engineering is all about. And I try to bring in lots of uh, guest speakers from the industry. So Edwards Air Force Base, the Air Force Flight Test Wing out there, and test pilot school at Edwards have been very supportive. I think this class has definitely helped further my interest in flight test, um, particularly the, the speakers from actual flight test industry that come speak to us. Um, ha having people who do this for a career come, you know, whether it's their test pilots or teachers at the test pilot school or engineers um, express what they do on their day-to-day -day life um, beyond college um, and how excited they are about it to really have the, an airplane be their office definitely is intriguing and definitely inspires my students to go to more of the flight test side as compared to the design side of aerospace engineering.